Alright, hey guys, it's Blood Rust doing my first tutorial on my new computer, so yeah, that's pretty cool. But today, um, I'm just going to show you how to use graphics pack and stuff, because I know when I first started GFX, uh, I didn't even know how to use them, which is pretty sad, but uh, actually a lot of people don't know, so yeah, I'll just show you real fast. Uh, let me make a new thing. Alright, so this is um this is just gonna be the example. I'm gonna put a render in there. For example, the saw RC that I did recently. The render for that. I'm gonna make the BG black. Mm, yeah. Alright, so now I'm gonna open up my personal pack, which uh, obviously you wouldn't have it ha wouldn't have this <coughs> but what I'm gonna teach you applies to everything within the categories that I'll be showing you so I'm just gonna go through pretty much everything uh, first up is CC's and how to use those uh, it's pretty basic I really don't need to show you on this render over here um, you just uncheck them and you see how they look and whatnot but I already have a tutorial on how to do CC's so you can look through my channel, um, or through the tutorials playlist on my channel to see those. Next is textures, which I am gonna show you how to use, so let me pick one real fast. For example, this one. Um, Alright, so I'm gonna put it right over top of the uh, render. And I'm gonna right click, or actually first I'm gonna do Command J, which duplicates the layer, and then I'm gonna bring it to the other side of the render, and then get out my eraser tool, and then just kind of get the side up to like 200. Then I erase the side of this, and it kind of just blends in, so you can see it looks pretty natural. Um, not 100% natural, but you won't notice that once it's textured on the render. Then I'm gonna merge them by doing Command E. And then right click and I'm gonna click create clipping mask so this is basically gonna what a clipping mask does is obviously you can see that um, it, the image only pertains to the image below uh, that it's quote-unquote clipped to so yeah I'm gonna set it to overlay which is like the basic uh, texture setting um, so yeah I'm just gonna show overlay kind of is the medium between soft light and hard light. Uh, soft light is just, as you can see, a softer version of overlay. Hard light is basically like a harder version of overlay. Then yeah. What screen and lighten do, our uh, screen gets rid of the blacks in the image and so does lighten, but it gets rid of them like a little differently. I don't know how, but yeah. And then multiply gets rid of the whites in an image and same for darken, but keeps some of the whites. So I'm actually going to keep this on darken so it gives kind of a cracked effect um, a little bit. So yeah, I'm going to drag in a new texture and show you the overlay uh, feature, I guess. Blending mode, I think they're called. So yeah, again, I'm going to copy with Control J. Got my eraser, erase the side. Make it blend in. I'm gonna have to create a clipping mask on this one before I can merge them. They're merged. I'm gonna go to overlay. As you can see, it textures it um, pretty well, and I'm just gonna turn on the opacity so it's not as intense. Uh, yeah. So there we go. That's basic like texturing. Select them all and merge them. Yeah, and I'm gonna show you kind of lighting. Uh, I'm just gonna go, I made a new layer and I'm just gonna go to the brush tool. And, uh, I'm gonna get out the white color. Just kinda drag the brush into about 90 pixels. And I'm just gonna lighten the middle of this uh, logo. And the way I'm doing like straight uh, brushes is by clicking and then hold down shift and click somewhere else and it just kind of um, 
beelines towards wherever you should click. Uh, and I'm gonna set this to overlay. And it gives a better uh, lighting effect. I'm just gonna turn it down. As you can see, it like just brightens the render and stuff like that. And you can do the same thing with blacks. So I could go here, say I wanna make it a little darker in here. Set this to overlay. and as you can see it makes it darker so yeah those are basically lighting's effect lighting effects for um, renders and stuff and I showed you the texturing so next I'm going to show you whatever like, okay particles so I'm going to find a particle I like uh, I always like the orgasmic ones um, so I'm going to drag this over Alright, so basically what I have on right now is I have it on screen, which gets rid of the blacks. So you see when it, I have it on normal, it's so there's blacks everywhere, black points everywhere, and uh, I'm just going to put it back on screen. It completely gets rid of the black, um, so all you see are the particles. And so now I'm just going to drag it up so it's across the entire screen almost, and then just drag this over here. Actually, this isn't a good example because there's edges to it. Meant to delete that. Let me find a different one. Uh, I can use these. Alright, for this one, I have it on lighten. I'm actually gonna put it on screen to make it a little less intense. Control J again, and then just I'm gonna drag it over. I'm just gonna find spots so the particles cover the entire screen. Although obviously for a banner, I wouldn't like you wouldn't have to cover the entire screen, just the middle part where it's actually gonna show. So yeah, and then I'm just gonna merge those. Control E again. Go back to screen and just turn down the opacity. So yeah, and you can see there's like particles in the background. So those are particles, that applies for most any particle. Uh, you don't really see white particles, so you wouldn't need to use the uh, darken feature. Or the darken uh, blending style thing. So yeah, and I'm just going to show you... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Oh man, excuse me. Um, so yeah, next is smoke. I'm just going to drag the smoke over. Oh yeah, and to drag, you basically you get the stock and... Um, you just drag it up into the uh, the kind of file view thing, file text thumbnail, I guess for the other Photoshop thing open, and yeah. Make sure you have the layer selected though, because say I had this layer selected, obviously I couldn't um, drag the clouds into the personal pack. Alright, so yeah, I'm just going to do the same thing with smoke and kind of erase to make it blend better. I'm gonna duplicate and erase. Duplicate and erase. Okay, so I'm gonna merge those two. And just turn down the opacity to like 50% so I can still see the logo. And I'm going to turn down the, the eraser opacity to about 90%. And then turn down the eraser size to about 80 um, And then I'm just going to erase around the logo because I don't want the smoke to make the logo more blurry. I just want to make the background blurry and the wings kind of. So yeah, I'm just going to erase this kind of. Turn down the opacity a little bit more to like 60 I'm gonna erase it around it so it's still a little bit blurry. Um, and then keep the same opacity but do the wings now. Uh, yeah. 
Alright, and then I'm just gonna turn down the opacity on a layer more. So as you can see, it gives it kind of a blurry, smoky atmosphere. And yeah, alright, so those are smokes. Next is lights and flares and sparks. Alright, so uh, these are pretty simple. Um, basically, like everything else, uh, sparks you just go in and set to screen, and then you can turn on the opacity and stuff. Uh, pretty straightforward. Lights are a little bit um, harder because you gotta get the right setting. <coughs> Man, those are my allergies. Which sounds weird because I'm coughing, but yeah, that's allergies. So for white lights, usually I like to put them at the top. And then I'm just going to turn down the opacity a little bit. And then you can make uh, it a little brighter with your brush. Just like the top of it, kind of. And I'm gonna, you want to have the soft brush selected, and I'm just going to turn it up to like 500 pixels. Yeah, and then just kind of brush around there and then turn down the opacity. So yeah, that's like a top light kind of thing, as you can see. Um, you just really want to find the right opacity. Then for the bottom light, I'm actually going to use uh, a color. So let's say I'm going to change this to orange. So yeah, it looks pretty orangey. And then drag it over here. Now I'm going to put it on the bottom. Flip vertical. Now I'm going to hold shift down and expand this. Remember I'm holding shift down and that makes it um, basically locks it but it still lets you make it bigger. So, yep, still holding shift down and I'm just gonna move it over slightly with my arrow key so it's in the middle. And yeah, so there's like um, part, part of the light and I'm just gonna get another orange type of light color. Make my brush a little bit bigger and then just do that and then drag it down and I'm gonna get a more dark shade of orange 450 pixels and then I'm gonna set this to overlay Mm, yeah, it's like basic lighting. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I used to look better in a banner because it's uh, more narrow and stuff like that. So yeah. Then I'm going to show you how to do flares um, and kind of manipulate them, I guess. Um, first, I'll do these kind of tiny flares because easier to show first. Uh, I'm just gonna like put them in like uh, top or top spots because the light is coming from the top. So say on like this point, this point, this point, and say the, the point of the form I guess. Alright and then I'm just gonna turn on the opacity. As you can see, it kind of just like gives a little flare and like reflection or glow kind of. And yeah. Alright, so next is an actual flare. Let me find. Now I have a couple in here. Alright, so here's one. So I could just do like um, a flare on the saw logo, like the edges of it, like that, and just place it and kind of turn down the opacity. Um, like that, and just give it a glow and a reflection and flare, obviously. But I can also do it, say, on the wings here. So I'm just gonna get it in the pit. <coughs> Excuse me, get it in a position that I want. Rotation that I want. And then I'm gonna go and click this, which is the free transform button. 
And I'm just gonna kind of make it go up in the middle. Um, then you can just kind of play around with this. Uh, pretty simple. Um, as you can see, it's bending the flare. I just want to get it into that right bend where it will go around the uh, this right here. Um, I'm just gonna rotate it a little more. And so, yeah, that looks okay. Uh, I'm gonna erase the sides. Yeah, I mean that looks okay, but obviously you'd want to spend a lot more time on it. I'm just doing this for the sake of this tutorial, which I don't want to make more than 20 minutes because, yeah. Um, so yeah, those are flares. Next is just stocks. Um, you know, you can use stocks how you want. Uh, this is a stock that I made myself. <laughs> It's a really sick rope stock, so I could kind of put it like behind the render, and it look like the ropes are holding up the render, which doesn't really work for this type of render because it has wings. So why would a rope have to hold it up? But yeah, uh, you can do things like that with um with stocks. Uh, you know, I got like kind of textured stocks. And I could, for this, I could like, uh, click edit, and then go to transform, and perspective. It's kind of cool if you perspective warp it, like that, and then kind of just set it on overlay. I'm going to make it bigger. And 70 seems good. Yeah, and I'm just gonna stick that on top. Put an overlay. It gives like a nice cool like hexish thing in the background, I guess. But that works more for 2D banners and things like that. I've got this lightning um, that you can like, for example. Just put on the render, and it looks like it's kind of lightning streaks or like color in the render and stuff. So yeah, that's cool. Uh, you can get most of this stuff in my pack, uh, my exclusive pack V2. Um, the this rope won't be in it. Uh, this one won't be in it. Uh, this one won't be in it, and this one won't be in it. These three, however, I think will. Not too sure, or I don't think this one will. But yeah, these are really sick ropes. My personal pack, I might release it. Uh, I'm not too sure, because I don't really want people copying my style, and I'm sure you can understand that. But I'm kind of moving away from that style anyway, which I didn't use that much. Uh, so I might just go back and redo that style. A bit. <coughs> so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I've been Bloodrust, and... Thank you.